Ever wondered why the skies over West Africa turn hazy and dusty during certain times of the year? This is due to a natural phenomenon known as the Harmattan season or in Wolof, which is a language spoken in Senegal, the Gambia and Mauritania, the Harmattan is often referred to as Ndakaru. Wolof is one of the languages where the term for Harmattan is specific to that language and region. Harmattan season occurs from November every year to March the following year. Originating from the Sahara Desert, there are trade winds that can travel several hundred kilometers. This dry and dusty trade wind sweeps across the region during the winter months, affecting countries such as Nigeria, Senegal, Mali, Ghana, the Gambia, and other nations in West Africa. The Harmattan alters visibility, air quality, and temperature. This unique event, with its transformative effects, significantly impacts the West African environment and lifestyle. Welcome to the world of the Harmattan season. If you're traveling to Africa between March and November, Harmattan season can be quite challenging. The Harmattan season isn't just about cooler temperatures and hazy skies. Let's dive into its impacts on health and various sectors. The dry and dusty conditions brought about by the Harmattan wind can lead to several health issues. Respiratory problems are common as the fine dust particles can irritate the respiratory system. Dry skin and eyes are other common complaints, as the arid air can cause skin dryness and eye irritation. Dehydration is also a concern because the low humidity tends to evaporate body moisture quickly. Moreover, the dust particles can harbor microorganisms, increasing the risk of respiratory and eye infections. On top of health issues, the harmattan also impacts agriculture, as the dust can hinder plant growth and reduce crop yield. As you can see, the Harmattan's dry and dusty conditions can pose several challenges, but with the right precautions, these can be managed effectively. So, how do people in regions affected by the Harmattan adapt to these conditions? Well, locals have found numerous ways to adjust. They diligently stay hydrated to counteract the dryness and moisturizers become a vital part of daily skincare routines. Dust masks and protective clothing are common sights, providing a barrier against the pervasive dust. For those with respiratory conditions, extra precautions are necessary to ensure their well-being and might be a good idea to stay indoors more. Despite its challenges, the Harmattan season is a unique part of West African culture, shaping the way of life in this region. In conclusion, the Harmattan season is a fascinating natural phenomenon with significant impacts. It's a dry, dusty wind that brings health challenges and affects various sectors. Yet people's ability to adapt, Staying hydrated and protecting themselves underscores the resilience of West Africa's inhabitants. Understanding and adapting to the Harmattan season is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the people of West Africa. If you found this video to be helpful, please click the like button below and subscribe to the Vitalize Africa channel.